We're at Hillmorton Wharf Marina, which is situated on the outskirts of Rugby, about three miles from the town centre. We're on the northern Oxford Canal. Uh, from here, we can do a choice of routes, either north, where you can take in Coventry, the uh, northern Oxford Canal, Ashby Canal, or you can travel south. We're about two hours cruising from Broughton, which is classed as a centre of the canal system. And from there, you can travel either south down to London, or the southern Oxford, or north to Warwick. It's the centre of the network. From here, we can go north, south, east, west. It doesn't matter. In a few minutes, we're down to Bronston. So no matter what the closures well, are during the winter. A few winter, minutes by car. Yeah. About two hours by boat. That's it. That's a, but that's, in the closures, close. nothing is closed to us. Because if the west side of the canals are closed in the winter, we can travel the east side. If the east is closed in the winter, we can travel the west side. It's fabulous. Well, obviously, if you didn't want to cruise, from here you can take in, obviously, if you want to go into rugby itself, you've got Rugby School, which is obviously very well known, and the Rugby Football Museum. You can travel a bit farther to Coventry, taking the Cathedral, the Transport Museum, which is, a, you know, well worthwhile going to see. And obviously then outside Warwick Castle and various places around in the countryside. Well, the history of the marina is that it was built in, a, in the mid-70s, we have moorings for around 24 boats from various lengths from 40 up to 70 foot. Um, most people like to come here simply because it's, we, we class it as a small friendly marina. One of the reasons we like it is because it's small. We don't want to be moored up in a 300 boat boat park. This is lovely. Our neighbour helped us moor when we first pulled in. And we had friends came and visited us almost immediately as well. We've um, had good relationships with the people in the yard. They're an absolute hoot. And it's wonderful having conversations with neighbours and with them as we go back and forth from the boat to anywhere else. Obviously on site, we have pump out facilities, diesel, electric water to all pontoons. We also have facilities for dry docking. We have a hydraulic lift system where we can lift boats out the water to do painting and, and, and underwater work. We have wet dock facilities which we use for do-it-yourselfers. The workshop takes in a range of work from full repaints, blacking jobs, um, engineering work from the point of view of stern gear, prop work, and obviously with a small amount of welding work if it needs doing on repairs to work. Major steel work is, is where we crane them out and put them on the hard standing if a boat needs re them in, you know, or, or major steel work. Well, there's water, there's electricity and there's goodwill because we had a period of time where our inverter was being stupid and they lent us an extra extension lead to be able to manage the washing machine, which was really lovely. Um, and there's good rubbish facilities. Um, there's not everything that many boaters would want, but it's good for us because we have a nice boat. We don't have any toilets facilities at the present time, being such a small marina, but we do have plans for an extension, which will include new offices, toilet facilities, shower rooms, and, and all the cities a lot, a lot of new marinas are, are now insisting on in many ways. The extension we hope to build is in the field next to us, and that will be hopefully house another up to 120 boats. Well, if you came outside, if you wanted to stay for a weekend and not far, we do have picnic benches and so on where people quite happily sit out, have a drink, pull a barbecue out. And obviously we do have a, the field next door, which is quite useful for people with dogs, where people quite often take the dogs out walking and so on. And we don't mind that as long as people clear up after themselves. <laughs> We have a German Shepherd who is not small on a narrow boat and she creates a lot of fur. But there is really good area for walking. We can take her in the fields and let her off the lead and she has a fabulous time chasing partridges. And rabbits, foxes, all the other wildlife that's around. <laughs> the marine is tucked in behind a pub so it's not really pedestrian access and people wouldn't know it's here unless they know it's here. We drove past it the first time we came up to yes. visit. So we that's... just didn't spot it at all. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the really good things about it. And also people know who the other boats belong to. That's the bit about a small marina. So we all watch out for each other's boats. Most of the moorers here themselves all get on very well. And there is a small little community that ends up here at weekends where they all get on together, and, uh, drink together and, 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 you know, and eat out. Certainly in the summer when it's nice, you see quite a few normally around the picnic tables uh, enjoying the evening. One of the reasons we feel people like to come here 
is simply because it is a small friendly marina, people do get on and it's not just about boating, it's, it's about making friends and enjoying your boating. So if you enjoy your boating and happen to be cruising through the Midlands, why not stop by this small and tranquil marina?